Hey guys, what's going on? Odama here, and welcome back to episode 123 of my level up series where I take hashtag United through the levels of the footballing pyramid. Now, as always, before we do jump into today's video, really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button down below if you're interested in football manager content. Now, 13 seasons, 13 years as manager of hashtag United has come to this point. In today's episode, we are starting our first league campaign in the Premier ship. <sighs> crazy to think, crazy to think. We've done fantastically well. The clubs come on leap and bound, leaps and bounds. I'm just super, super excited to carry on this journey and hopefully lift the Premier League trophy. We're so close now, but yeah, so far, because this division is so difficult to win, especially when you're such a low reputable reputation team and such but we shall move now into um what's been going on over the summer because there's been a lot that's actually been going on and we'll start off with the fact we have moved stadiums to craven cottage we are sharing with fulham right now and that is due to the fact that we are if you see on here we're building a new stadium <laughs> which is sick and you're thinking yeah that's amazing finally we've got our own stadium which we are but the thing is, we are going to be moving into a stadium that only has a capacity of 12,500. Which is a bit confusing because I thought to be in the Premier League, you have to be over like 15,000. Because I remember when Bournemouth got promoted, I think they had to increase their capacity because their stadium was really small. I think it was, I swear it was over 15,000. I'm obviously wrong on that, but I, I'm, I was pretty sure, convinced that, that was the case. But yeah, we move into our new stadium at the start of next season and we want to be moving into that stadium and still being in the Premier League that, that'll be really really important for us finances wise we had a massive dip we spent all our dough as you can see there so we were minus 36 million and now we're up to 15 million and that is due to the fact which is not actually on here to, say, to show but we have got new owners at the club um, Seb taking a back step after 13 years taking us as far as he can go and we've got a new owner now he's not really pumped up pumped any money in other than well he, the overall balance but not into the uh, transfer budget transfer budget stayed the same so that's all the kind of financial stuff out of the way and kind of where the club's at we're still obviously building um, improving our facilities and whatnot but the most important thing is the stuff on the pitch and so we'll go with the outs. So we've loaned Luan Ella, just an under 23 kid. Not really that important. Then Kieran Kerry is left on a free. He's gone to Dijon. I think he'll do quite well. Maybe he didn't really get the time he deserved. I think he'll score goals over there. He's very pacey. He's very similar to McSween, just maybe a little bit worse. But he's still 23 and can improve. Our scout only regards him as a two star. I would disagree and say he was. Two, well, two and a half star, maybe three, in my opinion. And Sam Garner's unfortunately gone to crew for a mil, which is decent because he's only valued at 600k. But he wanted to leave, I didn't want him to go. He said to me that he wanted to leave, and crew managed to snap him up for a million. And he'll be decent for them, I'm sure about that. So then we move back and then we look at our ins. We've only had three. We spent our money not in the best of ways, to be honest. Um, so we'll go through our first signing. We did say we wanted to bring in a centre back, and we have done Lewis Griffiths, a guy who we were looking at last season. We've managed to secure his signature, ten million up front, um, another ten million after he's played fifty games. So it's not too bad. We've got a season before we'd have to pay that ten million back, and hopefully by then we're getting that Premier League money. So it won't be that much of an issue. 21 years old, capped for an under 20 level for England. Three star current ability, five star potential. Great head in. Great uh, physical stats, mentals could improve. Um, it looks very decent and I'm really happy with my purchaser. Then we have, we'll go for this guy first. Got him for 6.25 million. He came up on my scouting. Number 10, things that 
just he looked really good overall. All right, physically he's not fantastic, but in that number ten role, in my opinion, you don't really need super physical stats. It's more about these technicals, and as you can see, free kick 19, long shot 16, technique 15, dribbling 14, finishing. He can finish this this guy. Corners he's good at, crossing, uh, he's just very solid, and mentors as well, leadership 18, which is really something which could prove vital for us, determination 16, everything's really good um, in regards to his mentors, and he's a left footer as well, which is always a handy to have, his value's already at 9.75 million, so he's done pretty well there, so I'm pretty confident he's going to do well, and then our last signing, but our most exciting one in a way, even though we've got two good signings there to add to the starting 11. We have Elias Elaine. Now, on first look, he does look decent, but he's weak and he's not great in a few areas. But being 18, these mentals are fantastic. Even physically at 18, you know, balance 17, strength, he's strong, got decent stamina. Natural fitness isn't that good. Pace isn't that great, but they will improve. Technical wise, 15 finishing, 16 first touch, 15 heading. Dribbling's not great, something that could improve. But it's mainly about the fact he's a wonder kid and we got him from Socio for 15 million. The, th the problem is though, to sign him, we had to put some release clauses in because he wouldn't, he wouldn't budge, this is what he wanted. So relegation, 21 mil. Minimum release to clubs in the Champions League is 36. So hopefully we can sign a new contract with him midway through this season and either bump them up or remove them altogether. But he looks like a great talent. He's going to probably play second fiddle to McSween at the start of the season, but an unbelievable talent for sure. And he'll do big things, I'm pretty sure, as you can see, 30 goals in 86 games for Socio. So the guy already at 18 looks like he can score goals for fun. So with that being said, we can jump now to the season preview, where things look a bit bleak for us as you'd expect. We're predicted to finish bottom, joint with Birmingham and Swansea, the newly promoted teams. Um, Chelsea predicted to, as you know, champions this season, but obviously it's always a bit of a lottery really with them top six clubs to who's actually going to win but we have a monster game and our first game is televised where we will actually get 1.16 million for each <laughs> for, for, for playing this game and that is against Man City so without further ado we've waited 13 years, 13 seasons for our debut in the Premier League right okay I'm expecting not much from this game to be honest Here's a team that's coming in. Obviously, Lambert can't play because he's unavailable because he plays for Man City or he's part of the club, signed to the club. So, McSween drops to the right wing and Elaine comes in for his debut. We've got um, Yardy in as well for his debut and Griffiths. So, without further ado, let's get this game underway. I mean,. Oh, it's going to be extremely difficult this season, unquestionably. We just need to stay up. I think we should, well, you know, we should be able to beat Swansea and Birmingham. So that's two teams, and it's just finding another weak link in the Premier League that we can hopefully get points off of. But this game, I'm not really expecting. Um, I'll send the system. I'm not really expecting all that much because, as you know, City are just going to probably steamroll us here. But if we can create a few opportunities, that'll be nice. Maybe even get a goal, that would be even better. But again, I'm not really expecting too much from this game. It's not the greatest opener for us, but at least we've got. I guess it's a nice one for you guys to see. Um, big club in the opening game. In our first ever game in the Premier Leagues, you know, that's, that's quite decent actually. Even if we do get smashed by them. We've got Yao Felix, Mbappe, Fabio Silva, all in the primes of their careers now, like 30, between like 
<laughs> yeah, like 30, 31, 32. Crazy. Let's go. Let's go, Smithy. Come on. You're a United boy. That's it. Yardy. Oh! Hits it with his left peg. Decent effort. Can strike the ball with his 16 long shot. Dangerous. Oh my god, don't just let him run past. Are you mad? Ooh, Toby, yes. I'd be interested to see how much money we're going to get this season through, like, obviously, the games live on TV, as well as the attendance, like, the match, the gate receipts, because, obviously, we've been restricted to, like, 5,000 capacity stadium in the championship. So we didn't get much in the way of gate receipts, but now we're at Craven Cottage, can we pull in like 20 plus thousand per games, you know? Be interesting to see, and that would really help us financially, if that's the case. Ooh, it's the post, sting in that post. Do I dare look through their team? Maxime Collin, 60 mil, 22 year old, full back, and they've gone 1 0 up through Korea. <sighs> okay, okay. Let's have a look at it. Mbappe. Ah, oh, come on, you've got about hustling. Well, he's a centre back, to be fair. 6 foot 1. Not that great in the air, to be honest. Really pacey, though. Jesus Christ, 17 pace. For a centre back, I hear you out of your mind. Come on, Yardy, bang one. McSween! Oh, it's your former club, that would have been perfect. Would have been nice to obviously have Lambert. And well, Janeri's not fully fit. Having a knock in, um, having a little niggly injury in pre season has kept him out. And Lee as well, he's out again, which is annoying. Come on. You're a better striker at the ball than that. How many long shots you got? Like 16. No, oh, no, 11. I'm thinking of his first touch. <laughs> I'll let you off. Mbappé against Vidra. It's always going to be a tough one. Interesting ball that was. Elias hasn't really had much to do so far, or much opportunities himself. I'd like to see what he can do, if he can influence this game. Let's go, let's go. Great block. Yardy, come on. No, you've not got the pace, mate. And that shows uh, that shows Trinari would have bombed down bombed down that wing. But it is what it is, we gotta take Take the good with the bad. Hamakachi Colin Mazzino. Let's go, dispossessing Crawford Kane. Come on, that's it. Tenacious in that midfield. McSween on the flank. Is he going to pop off a shot? He does and one. Palms it over. Corner for hashtag. Yeah, he's got a tight hat. Hamstring, fantastic. Good. That's not good. Uh, yes, come on. Not bad. One nil down. You know, at half time at the Emirates. I think we're not doing too badly. 
Yadis had a nice first half in my opinion, but it's off you go, mate, because you got a niggle. What have you got? Ten yeah, potential thigh injury, there's no point risking that. Bring Dan Nicholson on. Not really a fantastic player to bring on, but give him a go. You never know. Could, could provide something special. Oh my Christ. Clean, great touch. Feeds Nicholson. What can he do? Is he going to try and. Oh, slips one into Ali! <laughs> yes! Plus us 1 1 against Man City! Away from home, come on. What a debut for the young 18 year old. Let's go. Dan Nicholson's. Great run from Ellen there. Times his run. Bang! Nicholson feeds him and he tucks it away confidently. Come on. Let's go. Easy as you like. <sighs> Not bad, we're back in there somehow. Nice bit of play. Yeah, well try and mark him as tightly as we can I don't know if that's even going to be any worth doing to be fair we might draw some fouls Mazzinio Mbappe's through. Mbappe, no, 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 not for you today. No goals for you. You're not allowed. I've decided. Dishing it around nicely, aren't they? Now they're opening us up now, carving us apart. Take that, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Um, I don't know if I'm, no, I'm not, I don't think it's worth us doing any shouts at the moment because we're looking quite good. Looking, well, Lee Smith's looking a bit anxious now, <laughs> actually. And I know he's looking motivated again. I don't really want to change anything, to be honest. So we're doing all right. We've had some couple of good opportunities, Mbappe. Ah, oh, come on. See two goals from crosses into the box, man. Disappointing. Disappointing. Challenge, make the challenge. Oh my god, we can't defend against crosses. Jesus Christ, it's so poor. Let's get some subs on now. Let's try and rest some players. Three one, that's not a fair result, man. Oof. 
I mean, well, if you look at the stats, to be fair, they've had 17 shots. But, I don't know, I feel a little bit hard done by, like, conceding them goals the way we have. It's disappointing. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, we'll take it, it's fine, that's fine. Let's just go attack and see what happens. These past few minutes. Let's see if we can get a goal here later on. McSween, one. Ooh, skins one, nice. Gonna go alone, he gets dispossessed, and now we're in trouble on the counter, and Mbappe is through, and it's gonna be over very shortly. Someone's missed. I couldn't quite tell. Bodo, I saw Raph. It's over, man. It's over. Three one. I feel a little bit hard done by them conceding the goals the way we did from a set well a corner and two crosses. That's just disappointing. That's something we need to work on. Positives though, Elaine obviously having that one opportunity and he buried it. To be fair, took it really well, confidently. So not bad, 3-1 away from home, and yeah, yeah, it's not the worst result. We've got to move now, we've got to try and pick up points where we can. Let's have a look at the schedule, see our upcoming game, so... Leeds, that should be a game that we can win, really. Chelsea's going to be a tough one, no <laughs> way at Stamford Bridge. Watford. I mean, I'm thinking we'd probably come back for Crystal Palace and Arsenal, if we can. So there's a few games in between, I think that makes the most logical sense. Get this August out of the way, into September, and yeah, I think Crystal Palace and Arsenal is when we're going to come back. That sounds good to me. So with that being said guys, that does unfortunately conclude today's video. Really appreciate it if you'll take the time to hit the like button. If you like the video, dislike it. If you disliked it, comment if you want to comment on it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Thank you all very much for watching. And I hope to see you in episode 124. Cheers. Bye-bye.